Hello and welcome to Falcon 1 Gaming After Dark. I'm Falcon. I'm Pigeon. And we are playing... What? A song of Horror! Yeah. I forgot. I, yeah. I almost said Pomali. Oh. Well, good thing we're not <laughs> playing Pomali. Okay, so we are... We're still with Omar. Yeah, and we are in the library looking for stuff. And we've had the fucking presence entity... Or presence. what the presence try and snatch us into the nether realms from behind the bookshelves like twice now. So oh, you're gonna say nether regions. Yeah, trying to snatch us into the nether regions. <laughs> We're looking for something, but if we walk behind the wrong fucking bookshelf, apparently mm -hmm. we die. Uh -huh. So shit's shit's getting real tense. Yeah. Um because I don't know which bookshelf is safe. And which isn't. Ooh, we can sit in a chair. It seems unreal that I've spent so much time in here reading, and now this place has turned into a nightmare. You and me both, buddy. I mean, you, you could leave. That's true. Always a possibility. Hmm. Oh, my God. Am I hearing something? No, or is it no. Just him? His, his footsteps are really loud. Okay. Aha. Ooh. That looks like Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> For Ivan the Terrible, when he was young, it's not very well known that he was young mm. once. Grace didn't believe it was really him. Grace is an idiot. Yes. Grace needs to study more. <laughs> that I always think dumb, that statue dumb. is going to reach out at us. Right? Yeah, so this is... Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing sort of a scratching sound. Really? Well, our fucking loud-ass neighbors upstairs are being loud enough that... I just... I don't know what the tell is. Right? It's also very foggy down here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Yeah, I heard that. Oh. Oh. Is no one else worried that the library seems to have this strange fog? Yeah. It's green. It's poisonous. Oh, God. Everyone's <gasps> dead. Oh, ah! See? That's just some bullshit. What the hell is that? I guess Omar's oh. dead. Like. Oh. What the fuck are we supposed to do here? I don't know. Damn! Oh dear. Yeah. So this is where we're at, people. Yeah. Uh, the entity is just. It's been a while now. <laughs> see if everything's okay. Oh dear. But yeah. So the entity is just sort of deciding. Yeah. When it's gonna reach out and like uh, absolutely destroy you. You wanna do Grace? Uh yeah. Cause we can't risk losing Daniel. She's got some st stealth and serenity, but not much strength, so... <sighs> hey. I bet he got wrapped up reading something. Mm. I'll go check. He got wrapped up getting his, like, soul torn apart in another realm. He did. Yeah. Well, okay. Think about it this way. We got through the first playthrough of the, the you know, chapter one mm -hmm. really successfully. No yeah. one died. Cool. Everything's cool. Yeah. You know, first death. It's 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 okay. I guess. I'm just No, I know. It's frustrating. Yeah, it just seems so random. Yeah, cuz you should you should really have defined rules for these these things. I mean, yeah, it normally does. Yeah, cuz Well, yeah, but it it jumped out of like the midair, too. It yeah. wasn't like in a dark area that was like, "Oh, shouldn't fucking walk there." It was just like, "I'm walking, walking," and then boom, got you. Yeah. It's yeah, okay. We just lost one of our- fuck you. Thanks, game. Mm. Oh yeah, we can pick up his inventory. Okay. We gotta go do that. For a library. Huh. Uh, okay, I got coffee spilt on it. I can't look at this, whatever it is. Is there a way to get behind the desk? Yeah, I'm trying. Um, do-do-do-do-do-do. 
Yeah, it's like you can't walk into the middle of the library. Oh. Is this what we're supposed to be? Oh, is that what? What the <gasps> fuck? Oh, is that what it meant by security cameras? What what meant by security cameras? There was uh, there was a little note uh, when we were I think it was in the loading screen. It was like what you, what the eyes can't see a camera might be able to. Oh. <laughs> I think when we started with Omar, we just kind of walked straight into the. Yeah, but it's like, how are we supposed to know where the hell these areas are? There's fucking entity everywhere. I'm just calling major bullshit on this section. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that's fair. Entity is squishy. Right? I mean, so yeah, a, a location that has bookshelves and a desk, don't go near there. Mm -hmm. A location that has bookshelves and a desk. Don't go near there. Oh, bookshelves and a desk. Ah! I'm. I have no fucking clue how we're gonna, like, navigate this. Yeah. I mean, is it possible for us to just kind of dive into it, and if everybody dies, we can start the chapter over again? I think so. But like, am I supposed to like try and remember where these locations are for these cameras? Is that is that another? That's the screen you were looking at, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to see if I can find any info? I guess. Documents. I have a map. Oh, how was, what was the map? There it is. So, yeah, because it's just everything looks the same here. Yeah. Fuck me. Um. Like, I can't walk that way because if I walk directly in, I remember I got attacked. Mm. So I have to go up and around. Are we looking for the newspaper? I have no idea what we're looking for. Mm. Oh, no, no, that was the microfiche. microfiche. Ah, the labyrinth of the Great Library. So don't this, go near that picture. This is the most dangerous puzzle of the episode. No shit. Wait, would you like me to read out to you? I guess, yeah. In this area, you will have to move through the bookstores to reach, uh, the bookstores to reach uh, Husher's desk. But the presence will be between you and your goal. In fact, the whole area is dotted with invisible traps created by this creature, and if you touch them more than three times, the character you are using will be taken away by the entity. The only way to see the safe path in which to move is through surveillance cameras, but even so, it is not clear how to proceed. To help you overcome this last terrible obstacle, we will explain in more detail how to proceed. First of all, you won't have to go straight in, uh, straight to the library, but you will have to take the ladder on the left and go straight upstairs until you reach the staircase on the other side of the room. Right. Don't worry, because there is no danger at the top. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I have to go to the Ivan the Terrible picture? I think picture. so, yeah. yeah. That's the, the opposite staircase. As soon as you go down the staircase, you will have to go right between the bookstores and continue passing the large world map that you will find there. What? So go right. Oh, go right. Yes. Go right. Okay. Is that is that a world map? That's not a world That's map. That's not a world map. Okay, go back. Go right. As soon as you go down the staircase, you will have to go right between the books. Is that right between? Yeah, or? I'm saying right between. Yeah. But, That's I mean, so this was the first direction I went. 
And yeah, and there's there's some right there and yeah. to the left. And so this is off limits. Yeah. That's off limits down the center. So are they just wrong about the picture? Keep passing the large world map that you will find before you. Oh, I don't I feel weird. That's that, a picture of a bunch of boats. Yeah. Wait, um can you go can you go further? Like we, we, we came down one side of the staircase. Can you go the other We can side? go back up. Hmm. They're just they seem very specific about the world map thing. Yeah. Oh no, that's blocked off. Okay. Oh, yeah. So all right, well that's weird. Wait, how did I get back? How did I get up there last time? I don't remember. So, I think I went this way. Probably gonna get jumped. Oh yeah, this is how I got there. So I found this. Okay. And I went up. But the trap door is closed now. Okay. Um. Oh. It's vibrating. I can't go that way. Okay. So this is this is pointless. No, no, no. Come yeah, come back around to the center. So the vibration is what indicates? I guess. Okay. Well anyway, so right between you know, past the once you have passed the world map, you will have to walk until you see a cleaning trolley. Okay. Here you will have to pass between the trolley and the table with the chessboard. Do they mean a globe? The world map? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cleaning trolley. So, okay. It's a, careful. Um, you will have to pass between the trolley and the table with the chessboard, then continue on the right being very careful to stay well attached to the table. I mean, my right or her right? Uh, I guess my right. Yeah. Now you have to move forward until you find yourself in front of a wall on which hangs a water pipe. Yep. As soon as you see the tube, you will have to turn left and continue straight. Okay. At the end of the path, you will find Husher's desk to, on your left. I'm assuming that's your left? My left, not hers. It just said on your left. Yeah. I mean, they've been referring to yeah. left as my left. Wait. Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Uh, as soon as you see the tube, you will have to turn left and continue straight. Oh. Okay, that's what you did, right? There's Husher's desk. Okay. Professor Husher's desk. Um, just examine it All to right. complete the episode. Just a be, little more. Be careful not to stand on the side of the desk yeah. when examining it. Yeah, because I remember that that being yeah. filled with okay. assholes. I think, yeah. Well, I definitely could not have done that. Because the thing is, is like... I would have had to have gone forward, yeah. run back to the desk yeah. to look at the cameras, and then gone a bit further, then right. come back to the desk. That's right. the biggest pile of bullshit. Anyway, here we are. <laughs> oh, God, that was awful. All right. So... Sinister Nature. Whoa! An old volume that tells the story of the investigations carried out by Legrant and his companions. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Natura Tenebrosa. What's this? Oh, shit. I'm getting out of here. She just ran directly into the... where the entity was supposed to be. Oh, poor Omar. Oops, Omar. Ooh. Ah! <gasps> hey, that was our first um, look at the actual thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. There was another book about Argos the Grant in the library. Well, there we go. A compilation <laughs> of research trips written by two of his associates in the early 1900s. Sinister Nature was a kind of narration of Legrand's frustrated trips in search of paranormal phenomena, with one of the last pages marked by Husha. 
the cursed council, Saint Cecilia's Abbey. Mm -hmm. Saint Cecilia, the patron saint of music. I'm patron. not sure he what Hasha wanted when he set out in yeah. the Grant's footsteps, or how long he planned on doing it. But it was a start, the best place to start looking before it gets too late. Doesn't seem too cut up about Omar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he was an acquaintance. Ooh, the day before. Ooh. She just snapped her neck next to me, and it is, I think she's dead. <laughs> oh, yep. Ooh. All right, ooh, we get to play as Husher. Cool. Okay, Sebastian P. Husher, age 54, light source, lighter. Mm. An eccentric character with traditional tastes. Does that mean he's racist? Yes, he's very racist. Husher is a prolific writer of historical fiction who combines a literary creation with a prof uh, professorship at the State University of Arts and Humanities. He is used to traveling all over the world, investigating little-known events that provide the inspiration for his future works. However, his most recent journey has turned out to be very different from the rest. He looks like he's missing his left arm. Right? He's very stealthy. Right? Who else do we have? That's it. That's we, it? We have really? to play as him. Oh, Jesus. What happens if he dies? We have to try again. Damn. But yeah, I think this is a flashback into it before the friend. the full you one. I think. You don't know what right. you've done with that cursed music box. Maybe. By the time you tried to warn me, we had all heard the music. <gasps> now I find myself trapped in a tragic race against time. Oh. I had a hunch. I thought that perhaps by returning the box to you, damn it, I've been such a fool. I lied, Isaac. I'm sorry. I just need you to hold on while I find a way to make things right. I left the house without telling Catherine. How could I possibly explain something like this? I thought she'd never believe me. And I was wrong. But now it's too late. I only hope you're all safe. And that you will find a way to forgive me. His accent's on point. Yeah. Do you think he's actually I must put an end to this once and for all. For my family, for you, and for my own sake. Mm -hmm. Argos Legrand. He just has a better Everything answer. revolves yeah. around that Damn. name. He was the person who had the box crafted and picked out the melody. I know he died in 1913. Newspapers of the day reported a violent burglary in his home. Everyone died, save for Ariadne, who was just a baby at the time. The case was closed, but something just doesn't add up. The police investigation was far too short-lived, and the bodies were not buried, but incinerated. I believe... I believe they were trying to hide the truth. I discovered that the book, Natura Tenebrosa, was written by two of Legrand's collaborators, the same two who followed him across Europe researching all matter of ridiculous legends, all equally far-fetched. The last case in the book speaks of Legrand's last journey, on which he embarked just before making the music box. I've followed in his footsteps for weeks now, visiting every place, following every lead about that melody. Alas, I have reached the last leg of this journey, in the north. I find myself among the deserted ruins of St. Cecilia's Abbey, now covered in snow. Here, in 1912, the annual concert in honor of the patron saint of music was held. Legrand was not there at the time, but he came to investigate soon after. Every single person who attended that concert died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and the Abbey has been abandoned ever since. The connection is clear. I My know there theory. must be something here. A clue I can pursue. My theory on his accent, I think he might be English, the future. but he's not really from London. Real from he, not. he doesn't speak in an RP something accent is normally. Me, following me, drawing closer and closer by the day. The melody still haunts me. Its notes echo constantly in my head. With each passing minute, they sound more ghastly and foreign. I see darkness all around me, and shadows lurking in the corners. I see my world merging with something else. I see another place. <gasps> the 
black figure. I feel it's it's here with me. Oh jeez. Sweet. We're gonna have to face face off with the entity. Oh man. Is this the end? No, there's one more chapter after this. Is there only four? No, there's five. I think this is chapter four. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Hey, it's my birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh, interlude. And then chapter four. Yeah. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because I think you get to play as his daughter at St. Cecilia's Abbey. Cool. At least that's what I saw. Damn, the door must have closed before when I left the room. There was a small crack. Huh. If only I had some tool to stick in there. Oh, man. Okay, I know what you wow. mean, bro. <laughs> oh, come on, turn around. There we go. Let's go this way. I feel like this isn't going to end well. Nope. Definitely not. Nope. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's nice to have a change of scenery finally in this. Oh god, I didn't listen. It's I forgot locked. about that. The lock looks like it's in good condition, but without the key. Oh. This place must be extremely inhospitable in winter. Yeah. Don't forget to listen at the door. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's nice to have a change of scenery. Definitely. Um and a, a new sort of thing. I mean Oh god. Okay. Cause the uh the university was fine. It, but yeah. it, it didn't it, it wasn't all that spooky or varied for me. No. Cause the first house was really cool. And the uh I mean the thing with the first house is they sort of slowly developed the presence mm -hmm. too. It wasn't immediate. It wasn't all oogity boogity from the start. Yeah. Some of these pharmaceutical books must be real gems, but they're no help to me right now. Err. Put them up. Can you look at the. Ooh, maybe don't look at the shroud. What shroud? The. Um. It's behind you. It's behind me? At the table. Ooh. This is cool. Dirty dishes just left there. I wonder how long they've been there. He's being all judgy. The books are beginning to fall apart, and the jars of chemicals look like they've been festering for years. Festering, I say. What's this? It looks like a spring from some sort of hydraulic system. There are a few utensils on the table. Hmm. Maybe I can find a tool to stick in there in this room. Plants still grow on these cans. How uncanny. There are a few utensils on the table. Mm. This bookcase doesn't seem to be fixed like the others, and the corners are worn down. Ah, I wonder if secret it's a trap door. door. Whoa! Oh, dude. Dirty dishes. What? I'm hearing a. Yep. Uh, there's a vibration. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels very oh. scary in here. Ooh, he's got telekinesis. <laughs> hey, oh. Something about the spring. Yeah. Hmm. I wish I hadn't uh, pressed the direction. Oh, uh, enough water has to get. To oh, okay. The, uh, the ambient music is scary in this one. Yeah. Right, so that doesn't go out. So we gotta mess around with this thing. Do I have an option to mess with this thing? I don't think so. Huh. Well. Well, shit. Maybe it's not a puzzle we can absolutely. Or is there. There's no pipe on the other side of the room? No. Or in the next room? No. No, it comes directly from this. Over there. Well, geez. I'm just gonna leave if you're gonna be a dick game. Yeah, so maybe don't touch the shroudy thing at the table. 
Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> like that looks like a person. Yeah, fuck that. The music in this uh, in this chapter is great. Ugh. Yeah, it's great. And when I say great, I mean absolutely fucking terrifying. Yeah. The outer pen of glass is broken and the cold air is coming in between the boards. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you talking? <laughs> because he's very British. There is a corner behind the wall. It seems that someone has tried to get in or out of there. <gasps> I mean, he's British, so. I am. I have to do so my he sounds thing. ridiculous. <gasps> what? British people do sound ridiculous. It's my old man British voice. Yep, see? <laughs> oh, well, the music conveniently stopped. Good. I guess it's just the upstairs that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just leave. Let's just go. Bye. I mean, general life tip, if creepy ambient music starts playing, GTFO. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Here we go. Let's just take a nice walk. Can you go in that door? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Check so you no. <laughs> he looks so upright. He's very British. I've never had posture that good. I was yes, in the military. Well, you're from the north. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna bring classism into this now. Oh well, yeah, because he's very British. Ew. It's all about class. It's impossible to open the... God damn it. <laughs> I accidentally pressed, pressed the button. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but... Yeah. It's not that I didn't want to hear your lovely accent, darling. It's just... Go ahead. No. All right, then. If you're gonna be rude... <laughs> Ooh. A mirror. Wait, no, I shouldn't go near that mirror. Yeah, don't go near that. Weren't the the mirrors were all broken at the house, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a mirror in every corner here. The stone fountain is covered in ice. Damn cold in this place. It's getting into my bones. Bones. More like boners. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Ooh. It has taken me two hours to remove one of those floorboards. There's no way I'm going to be able to get in through there. All right then. Two hours. Hmm. Look, I have a fountain pen. I still have many books to write. While I have my fountain pen, I know I will live to tell the tale. Hush. Oh, Sebastian, I have some bad news for you. Buddy. What? The pen's not gonna save you, babe. Oh no. But what if it will? The pen is mightier than the sword, darling. Yes, but the sword is not even mightier uh, than the presence. Oh. Ho. <laughs> it's a hoe, a tool for tilling the fields. Sweet. Whoa! Oh god. So wait. I needed to shove a nice, stiff tool into something, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The door. I mean, that's how he described it. I'm not being childish. Right? Oh, there's some pipe stuff here. Use. Ah, yes. It's getting steamy. Ooh. Uh -huh. Pipes. Lovely. Wait, he already lit that? I think maybe by turning the thing upstairs. I don't know. Mm. Some, whoa. <laughs> now the water's running through this pipe. I have to make sure I open all of the water valves. Nah. What a relief it is to light the brazier. I feel like he's been in here before. Maybe he has. The piping has been dripping for days, months, years. Oh. Some old and wretched clay vessels. That's my wife! The wooden, <laughs> the wooden <laughs> table is rotten from the damp in this room. It looks like it's about to fall to pieces. Oh, look yeah. at, the, look at the, the what? thing in the far right corner. Yeah. Ah. For blowing. An old set of bellows. I don't think I can use it for anything right now. Fine. I've already tried sticking it up my ass. You know, I wasn't going to say that. And I did. Well done. Thank you. Ooh. 
Uh, back upstairs. Yeah. Uh, uh. He's a bit drunk. Well, of course, he's British. Damn right. I'm filled with gin and steak and kidney pie. Would it be gin? I feel like he would be, be drunk on, like, brandy or whiskey or something. No, gin is the super... Well, I guess that's the working man's drink, is yeah. gin. This, this is a... He would be drunk on brandy. Yes, brandy or port. Oof. Yeah, he he would drink dessert liquors. Huh. I oh. drink dessert liquors. Yeah, you do. Because you're an old British man at heart. Aw, thank you. You're welcome, darling. That's the nicest thing. What? <laughs> That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Uh. Uh, okay, so... One of the pipes... Mm. Hmm. Are there more peeps? Peepes? Oh. Peepes? Pipes. Was there was there more stuff to touch in the room downstairs? <laughs> Let's go touch everything in the room downstairs. Yeah. Yes. Come on. And ignore the man under the sheet. <laughs> I feel like maybe the pipes are under there. No, they're not. He's gonna go oogity boogity at us. Is it? Yes. Okay. Let's let's not. It looks like a human. It looks way too much like a human. Yeah, it looks like a shroud. I'm not okay with this. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be gone at some point. Maybe. Do you think we can open this with the, uh... No. Oh, wait. Does the body have the key? Uh, oh, no. Wait, don't say that. I'm gonna go check this way first. Okay. Because... I don't want to deal with that at all. Oh, I think the pipes might lead out this way. Let's see. Mother Mary? Ooh. The drip has filled up the basin. There's <gasps> all kinds of filth washed down from the roof. Okay, then. Peasants. Yes, these damn peasants. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Our fucking upstairs neighbors are doing tap dancing. Oh my god, it's so awful. If hey, anyone has advice on how to... Like hitmen? I was gonna say noise complaint, but, you know. Oh, like three, works th as well. 311 or f something, right? You call the housing commission. Well, actually, no. I filed a, uh, a noise complaint before. Yeah? Um, well, what I did, I just, I just called the police station directly. Oh, really? Yeah, and just said, someone's being real loud. Yeah. And then afterwards, she talks shit out of her window, like, Motherfucker! <laughs> you know, like, and it was like, oh, I'm just gonna call the cops again, man. Yeah. Uh, A foul-smelling dark liquid is running over the surface of the table. Yummy. Foul-smelling dark liquid, that's my wife. It's oh. still snowing. I hope it stops soon, or getting out of here will be even more difficult than it was to get in. That's what she said. All right, so wait, we turned the thing. Yeah. Yeah, and this is all just... Do you hear that? Oh, I, I hear it. The water in this bucket stinks like a sewer. A sewer! I can't imagine it's healthy to even breathe the smell. No. Way to be passive-aggressive there, Sebastian. Okay. Right, okay. Right. The water is flowing through the peeps. I shouldn't... The peeps. I shouldn't tooch the hundle. The hand lay. The hand lay. Instant death. I think you're good. Yep. Rearranging their fucking IKEA furniture oh, upstairs. Okay. Ew. This isn't good. Never good when there's a bunch of flies. Right. Ancient amphorae, like Ooh. the ones Catherine put in the garden. I wonder if she and the kids miss me. They're dead. I feel like he wouldn't say kids. I feel like he would refer to them as the children. Yes. The air is buzzing with flies and a sickly stench. Oh, it's a body. That's my wife. It's a body. It smells worse than it looks, if that's possible. Oh, that's a oh, toilet. Oh, yeah, we're in the toilet. These are ancient turds. Yep. It looks like there's something down there blocking the main drain. 
Hey, that's what they used to call me back in high school, main drain. I'm sorry. This I plumbing <laughs> system is extremely complicated for just a few toilets. Hint, hint. It's not for the toilets. There's a layer of damp and decay on every single surface in this room. Well, we have to clear the thing, so let's do this. I, I, do we need a... Oh, God. What if we kill him? What if he dies? Let's oh, do this. Oh, dear God, no. Mm, get chunky with it. Oh, yeah, uh, buddy. Grab a winner. Grab a win Well, it can't drag me through because it's a tiny little... Ooh. Look at his face. He's he was like... like uh. <laughs> I don't think I'll need anything so disgusting. All right, then. Well, so that was useless. No, it cleared the pipe. Oh, okay. I was going to say. That's, like, that's what I, I meant. Like, I had to do that because it's like, if I didn't, then I can't move the bookshelf. Yeah. All right, I think we can go to the bookshelf now. Okay. Do you want to see if the body has a key? I don't want to go anywhere near that body. The stairs must have collapsed ages ago. I need to find another way to get up to that balcony. Do you? Oh, he's very cold. Oh, I don't care. Right. The belt is locked. Don't run too much. Yeah, I mean, he's got a weak heart. Right? He keeps like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Or he's freaked out. <gasps> no! Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Yep, we're gonna keep going up the stairs. Keep going. Oh, yeah, and I made a mistake. The, the, the daughter character that we play, that's Farber's daughter, the guy that hanged himself. Oh, yes. Um, in chapter two. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. I'm sorry for making that reference. How dare you? I'm so sorry. Shroud. Uh -huh. Bye bye, Shroud. Just going in here. There we go. I like this room. Yes. Oh, telekinesis. Hmm. Oh, well then. Let's find out what's behind door number one. Ooh. Oh, there's another body. More Jesus things. There's another body. I thought this was Jesus. Or... It's no, body. it's... Body? It's a... <gasps> you don't seem to care about the body. Remarks made by the prior. No, because this is... We are a learned man. We care more about texts than corpses. There's a corpse. Let's read. <laughs> well, I'm being Sebastian, oh. so you read the thing. Some days ago now, oh, I observed the brothers performing a strange ritual. They took turns to sit in front of a mirror and, facing it, light the lamp and then put it out. Five hours later. This shall remain as written testimony of everything that has been discovered and that has been passed on to me, as it may prove valuable to whom whomsoever finds it. Ugh, five dollar words, buddy. Sitting in front of a mirror, <laughs> they observe their own reflection and everything behind them. Then they say, Bloody Mary, five times. And then they proceed to put the lamp out or dim its flame to the point that the eyes, blinded by the previous glow, no longer see. Hey, maybe they're inviting the Midnight Man into the... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, anybody that wants to see a movie that really misses the mark... It sucks. Watch The Midnight Man. No, it's not The Bye-Bye Man. It's another movie. They somehow got Robert England in it, yeah. and um. And uh, what's her bucket from The Conjuring? Yeah, movies. from uh, Insidious as well. Yeah, uh, the from older lady. Oh man. Uh, oh wait, no, she's uh, just from Insidious. Lynn, she, Lynn. Is she in The Conjuring? No, she's in Insidious. Oh, it's just Insidious. Lynn, okay. Lynn. Uh, T damn. Something. It's a very short last name. Wow. I, anyway. Anyway, but yeah, they got Robert England and Lynn. What's Shea. her name? Lynn Shay. Yes. To be in that, and holy shit, they are the sh it's they awful. they are the shining parts of the movie, and the only part that's really worth watching. It's not. I don't. I wouldn't even go so far. No, but uh, anyway. But yeah, it is a whole like play a game and you invite the midnight man into. You. Uh, anyway, whatever. Then they proceeded to put the lamp. <laughs> Thereupon, they Tangent. lighted. 
once more and again observe their reflections and everything behind them, repeating the process several times. And sometimes, God help us, the reflection shown in the mirror isn't what it should be. Oh, I can't begin to describe the horrors that appear. The mere act of committing them to paper is an insult to our Lord. They involved quipping and nay-naying. But what I can say is that the more frequently these horrors appear, the closer they are and the less time we have until... until they're no longer only in the reflection. <gasps> okay. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Whoa, that dude is what big. All right. Uh, okay, that was a surprise. All right, bye bye. There's oh, a dot no. thing. Yeah, it's just the other side of the hole. Uh, yeah, I know, but. Hey, look. You gotta look at everything, dude. I didn't want to. All look. Bodies. Huh? Wonder what happened to them. Oh, great. All more right, bodies. see you guys. The scribblings of desperate monks. Oh, sorry, carry on. The scribblings of desperate monks, desperate like me. The but monks. not like me. Shakespeare reference. Let me bait. Not like me, for mine is a desire that. Sorry, uh, whatever. My name's, my name's Falcon, and I just got my MFA. <laughs> Shut it. Uh. Read the words. The mirror is broken. <laughs> but you can still see parts of the room reflected in the shards like a bizarre mosaic. Ew. You totally missed what I said, didn't you? What? Desperate like me for puss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you see, I don't, l I don't enjoy toilet humor like you. Oh. I have a more refined palate. Toilet tragedy. Toilet tragedy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was an absolute toilet tragedy. Whew. Did you see all those dead bodies? Oh yeah. That was fun. Alright. Yep. Wee! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, that's I've, not good. I've seen this movie before. That's not good. Can I light the candle? No, that's not good. Would you light my candle? The wall has been fear. Oh. The wall has been furiously covered in crosses. I understand the desperation that leads to that better than I'd like. Yes, Christianity. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I'm Protestant. These are Catholics. Disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Oh, come on. Is the presence just Mum's net? What? Mum's net? Is it Mum's net? The, uh, I don't know. Is that like AOL but for women no, of a certain age? No, it, it's it's like a website for concerned mothers, <laughs> and it's pretty pretty awful. Oh my god! Somebody's made sure no one can get into this cell or out of it. Ew! Who guards the guard? Who watches the watchman? Mm. No, I think you're good. Clangity clang. Hello. Knock knock. Lots of crosses still. Ugh. Everyone's getting. Oh work. no. Let's see. Oh, why did you do I that? <sighs> why would you do that? Because he's a big old dummy. I I didn't even know there was a mirror there. That seems really unfair. Right. Sebastian. Oh. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Do it. Heard you was looking for Candyman, bitch. Ha. <laughs> Whoop. Biggie smile. Biggie smile. Biggie smile. <laughs> Biggie Biggie smile. smile. <laughs> oh no. Candyman? I heard you was looking for Candyman, bitch. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. That was... That was cool. That was a cute little interlude. Yeah. I like it. I like I, it very much. I like that. Well, should we uh, should we yeah. call it there? All right. Yeah. I just want to say. Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, we need to find our own little next time on Game Grumps little <laughs> phrase that we say. Yeah. Um. 
See you fuckers later. <laughs> I don't think that. No. <laughs> ah, shit. No. Uh, yeah, Falcon 1 out. <laughs> Mother. How, how about this? From now on, every time we try a different one. Okay. So the first one is... I'm um, wiggity wiggity out. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Um... Please continue on with us. We're we're gonna we're gonna barrel through this game because the mm -hmm. the new chapter, the final chapter, is coming out soon, and we really want to like play it as soon as it comes out. Yeah, so we'll probably um, be focusing mostly on Song of Horror for the time being. Yeah, uh, and get through the as many uh, episodes of that as we can. Uh, in the meantime, I will be doing pigeon plays Sweet. of uh, old point and click adventure games like uh i'm gonna try my hand at mist and riven and abduction mm -hmm. uh and then after we're done with song of horror we will move on to some other exciting segments yep i want to do haunting ground yeah. all right uh yeah so if you like what you've seen please like share subscribe do all that good stuff um and catch us next time wiggity wiggity out wiggity wiggity out <laughs> i don't know about that one <laughs>